Right now, the barbers are really uniting and making a strong push and movement to unite with each other from, you know, coast to coast, especially in California. We're getting a lot of love from Northern California as far as with barbers and Southern California barbers. You know, making a, making a strong push and like I said, just you, uniting as barbers. And that's one of the great things that could happen to our industry is that they all unite together and, you know, make that strong push because in our industry, I feel like sometimes we get overshadowed for the talent and it's a lot of talent within our barber community. So that's one of the great things that's, that, you know, over my career, I have been seeing that was missing out of, out of the barber aspect. Now, some of the things that's lacking are some of the things that I feel like can go wrong with our industry as far as barbers. Barbers seem to have a very cocky attitude and don't want to share information with each other and don't want to help each other. And like I said before, the positive thing is some of that is weeding itself out, but it's still a lot of that. And barbers need to understand that the more humble you are, the more people want to work with you. The more humble you are, the more your financial status will change because other people would want to give you an opportunity. But that's probably one of the biggest things is that it's a lot of barbers that aren't really too humble or they feel like they're just barbers. They're barbers and they got to have like a real stand up brute attitude, kind of like, um, like it's disrespectful to call them anything else but a barber. But really, it, it's, it's an honor to be in this industry. And yes, our barbers, we have a strong title as being barbers, but we, we do so much more. Barbers, you know, we learn how to color, we learn how to do everything, and if we apply that, um, I feel like our industry, we're just as dominant as cosmetologists if we apply what we learn as well and take that to the next level. When, when you walk around hair shows, you, you, see, uh, you see some cockiness come out of barbers, and like I said, sometimes barbers don't even talk to each other or tend not to really communicate with people that they feel like is, is on the same level as them. And to me, it's, that's a sad feeling because if you're feeling like you're on a certain level, why don't you reach back and help other barbers pick them up and bring them to that same level as you? I feel there's so much money to be made. Not one barber in this industry can make all the money. And depending on what's, what situation you're in, you're gonna have to rely on another barber at some point. So that cockiness and that arrogance within our barber culture, I feel is like one of the downsides. And I feel like that's what gives barbers a bad rap around the industry is because that, that you walk around like we have a chip on our shoulder and there's no chip there and the chip is being made by other barbers and let's let's lose the chip and let's lose the egos and and let's all work together and let's all make our industry better by becoming better men or women of this industry as far as barbering you know by having that cocky attitude we get we get we get overshadowed we get overshadowed by the negative which is that ego and that cockiness and it's like cosmetologists they have a certain standard and then when you look at barbers our standards is oh those guys are very arrogant they don't ever show us nothing they don't want to talk to us about anything and it's it's time for us to not have that gray cloud over us anymore and you know like I said let's work together and and pull each other up and you know lean off of each other and work off of each other um, I have a great deal of friends in this industry where I could you know, get a call from New York and a guy say, hey, I got a client moving down to California. I would love for you to take care of him. And, and I do. And I do the same thing for guys for out of my clientele that's moving to different areas. And that's what we need more of, just guys networking with each other and more guys talking to each other and, and helping out our industry by, like I said, losing the ego, losing the cockiness, because the cockiness is going to always hold us down. It's going to always give us a negative vibe. You know, when you walk in the hair shows, you can pretty much pinpoint a barber by, a, by the aura around him and by his look. And that's, that's one of the things I feel like, you know, if we change those small things, 
10% shifts on everything, eventually everything will change for the better. Not saying that it's really bad now, but it, that's one of the things that lack in our industry and it can be better is that, you know, we lose the attitudes or we lose the cockiness as barbers and, and just become more open to change.